welcome back and check it out, YouTube. We have Corneroids. Let's play. Let's make a spaceship. Well, we have been. Like I said in our previous video, I was going to complete out the left-hand side and uh, copy it from the right-hand side, so let's just fly around real quick. Zoom, zoom, zoom. Nice. This is now the back. I made kind of an H thing. I don't know. Knobbly. And then we've got uh, the little gripper things for the engines. So, next thing's next. Let's make the engines. Let's do that. Um, what's next? That's right. I should have all, actually all the resources necessary to do this kind of thing. So here we go. Do 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 do. Into the bottom of my ship. Whoa. Here I go. Okay. I've also poked them through here um, because this is where I'm going to put the uh, generators. So what I'm I'll, what I also need to do is uh, clear it out a little bit back of the ship. I think that would be a good place to put it. If you ask anybody else though, I would, they would probably say no. Because if we're getting shot, like say we're being chased around, they'll be the first thing that gets shot. Maybe we should just put it in here. Like I could, lie, I could lay them up or put them on each side. Hmm. That was a thought. Alright. Well, let's make some generators. First we gotta make the little guys right here this one right here and you see it's used for this one now I've already got a couple so let's make two of these guys these are the powerful ones this will be plenty for running on the side there so let's see we gotta make sure we don't waste any mani uh, materials mini mini you see their health is really low uh, that's because they're power generators they're not supposed to be uh, hit alright see the power 20 see the power 50 quite a bit more for the, uh, the more powerful one Let's go in here. Um, thrusters. Uh -huh. Standard hydrogen. This is the one I want. Uh, as you can see, the size is one by two by one. That'll fit perfectly in there. One by one by one. Little too on, on the weak side. Yeah. So what we're gonna do is uh, let's check this guy out here. What does it require? It requires two power. No, I'm sorry. Ten power. And so one of these guys that do 50 should be enough because we'll have two on each side. That's 20. And then uh, we're also going to have some thrusters pointing the other direction. That will be these guys, which are five. So let's see. That's 5, 10. So that would mean 30 on each side, leaving us a little bit of power left over. So here we go. Boop. And boop. Now if we go outside and we look at this, look at it. It's all lit up. Neat. That's cool. And uh, you can see the power is poking through there, just enough to get to the engines. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the longer ones right here with the end uh, kind of coming flush there. And then a weaker one pointing out the front. Now the reason that is because uh, we're going to use this, this uh, mechanic to be able to turn. Uh, it's going to be a little bit on the difficult side, but what's going to happen is if we want to go forward, I'll press all four engines and so it'll just go straight forward. It'll be kind of like a tank. So if we want to turn to the right, what we do is we turn on all these guys and then leave those ones off. Or if we wanted to turn sharp, what we do is we turn on the weak ones and turn off the uh, powerful one, or turn on the powerful ones over here, creating a break. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to wire it up just so there's a big engine in the back here that pushes us forward, so I'd like space. Then I'm going to have little engines here and little engines on there, kind of wired up opposite. It'll make more sense once I do it. So let's go back in here. Let's get the console block made too. Uh, console is boop -a doop. I need a crafting table, which are free. Yes. Okay. Do 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 console. Boop. Consoles need to be powered. Z's is important. Uh, doo -doo -doo. And if we put a rear engine, we'll have to try it out. I've never used this design before, so we'll check it out. All right, there's a little uh, console tingy. Uh, we're also going to need a camera on the outside, unless I decide to do like a window, which um, actually is an interesting idea. But that would mean that the console block would have to be up there. Um, not liking it. You know what? We're going to use the camera. Camera, camera, camera. Right here. What's it need? Cobalt lens. Easy enough. One of these guys. Pew. Camera. Boop. Alright, let's get this guy on the outside of the ship. 
this is how I'm going to see the world. So let's put it in a fairly uh, easily accessible area. I could just slap it on the front here. Oh, I gotta consider power too. Well, I could power it individually just putting by putting a little tiny power source right on the front here. So I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna mine it in just a little bit. Then I'm gonna put a little power source inside there. Don't have one. Gotta get one. Would be pretty easy to knock out my camera, but uh, hey, that's what you gotta do. This is mainly a mining ship anyway, so maybe the concern about getting shot isn't so well founded. Plus, we are, the, well, in alpha. And that's not really possible to get shot by other players. The only other things to worry about are those little uh, parasites. Those little guys uh, just destroy the asteroid anyway, so don't worry about it. Boop. Boop. Nice. Doesn't, de doesn't detract too much from the look of the ship, and it should give us plenty of view. And I wonder if it's being powered? I would have to say yes. We can test that real quick, though. Oh, yeah. The red light means it's recording. <laughs> Let's orient this a little better. I think that's the way I want it. We'll find out later when we test it out. Okay. Engines. Uh, I think I did not make them, so let's go get them. Zoom inside. Grab this. Do, 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 do. Engine, 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 engine. Where are they? Thrusters. Not engines. Um, did I make any of those? No, I didn't. I need a bunch of these. Liquid hydrogen. It should be easy to get. Uh, we should use the extractor, actually. Our furnace. How do you make the extractors? It's in a crafting, crafting table and an iron drill. That's easy enough. Okay. Now we can put this guy down. Because we had one on the, on the asteroid, but uh, we're in space now. So, come on. We need one out here. Make a bunch, make a bunch. Requires water. Well, it looks like I had a bunch. Okay. Thruster time. Alright, we need one, two, three, four. That's going to be for the outside. Then we also need four of these guys. Yikes, that's expensive. So, uh, that means we're going to need 12 more of these. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. One, two, three, four. Okay. Placing time. Four of these. Four of these. Out I go. We ought to be able to fit in putting in the uh, engines in the end of the episode, so you'll get to see the whole ship pretty much assembled. Is that what's in there? Yes, it is. All right place and you can see uh, thrusters are in place so we're gonna put them over here as well and doop and, ooh, and doop okay next we gotta put these little guys in here orient them a little bit better here I need to make sure that they can actually get powered too so let's uh, mine this out at the side here so I can see what's going on all right in you go is it powered no it is not why is that? Looks like we didn't have enough juice in those generators. Look at that. First world problems. Alright, well, can't be helped. Let's put these all together, and then we're going to go ahead and take a look at what is going on. In you go. Well, we won't be able to fly just yet. Uh, mostly because if I tried to fly with just the engines in the rear, like they are right now, all that would happen is I would just uh, kind of turn very slowly because uh, the ship is pretty symmetrical. Mm, okay, let's look at this. F to edit. Power balance, 6. How about this one? It's off. Why is that? Power balance, neg negative 6. That's because of this guy, most likely. So let's supplement this power a little bit. Um, I think I can just put uh, another one of these guys on top, and that'll give me just a little bit more... Oops. Come back here just what I needed. Excellent. You know what? That looks kind of ugly how unbalanced it is. Let's fix that. Mm, boop. Excellent. That looks pretty cool. Alright, now we, we got here. We can see that the power cables are now powered up. Excellent. Alright. Looks like I'm about out of time. But uh, before I go, let's get the camera wired up. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. <coughs> Excuse me. There you go. Now we can get an idea of what this looks like. Before I go running out of time, E to edit. Oh, yeah, this is perfect. I think I'm going to want to change it, though, um, so that I can. Well, actually, no, this isn't bad. This is a good position. Okay, that's looking straight. That's looking down at the asteroid. We got the left hand side of the ship on there and the right hand side of the ship there. Um, I guess I can always look down. Uh, that also helps orientation. So that, looking at the green bar lets me know that's the bottom of the ship. So we should be good to go as far as that's concerned. Well, that about wraps it up. Let's go take a look at the outside of the ship. Like I said, that about wraps it up. On the next time, we're going to go ahead and get the engines all wired up and then we're gonna make one big one in the back and another power source we'll get back to mining and then we'll fly off in this guy it's almost done like I said before if you want a simple ship this is not the one for you <laughs> just make a torpedo and put some engines on it alright thanks for watching subscribe for the rest of the videos and as always check it out YouTube corneroids let's play see you guys next time